About a month ago, YouTube silently announced the removal of a few features, most notably annotations. Online, the decision was met with a mixed response. While some praise the decision for remedying a few long-standing issues, others have pointed out this is going to have a traumatic effect on older videos. Annotations had long served as postscripts, translations before closed captions became available, user-friendly clickable links in the less mobile user-dominated age, and much much more. However, much as the announcement, most of the discourse has been very silent, mostly limited to comment sections. We were introducing this channel to break the silence. Our name, Backup YouTube, has two meanings. The first is that YouTube themselves ought to be backing up with their somewhat reckless policies and at least offer a solution as simple as adding a list of timestamps in the description of videos about to lose their annotations. We need to convince YouTube that the costs of what they're doing are greatly outweighing the benefit. And the second is that we as users should be backing up YouTube's annotations ourselves. And I'm pleased to report some early attempts have already been made, but unfortunately without receiving any of the attention they rightfully deserve. That's where you come in. In the description of this video, you'll find links to a page containing programs which will allow you to back up annotations either on your computer or on the Wayback Machine. We'll be updating these periodically to improve their accessibility and provide further functionality, so be sure to check back every now and then. Eventually, we're hoping to emulate YouTube so that we'll be able to display the annotations as if they were never removed in the first place. But do bear in mind that we have a deadline, January 15th. The day annotations will disappear for good unless we can overturn YouTube's decision. Seeing as urgent as this is, we hope that you'll at least help us by spreading the word. Be sure to keep checking our channel for updates. And if you'd be interested in deeper involvement in the project, you can find a link to our Discord in the description. 